alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds, middleweight action between Kelly the Ghost Pavlik and Winky Wright. Kelly Pavlik's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. Winky Wright's making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. Professional record stands at 36 impressive wins, 32 of them by knockout, and two losses from Youngstown, the Ghost, Kelly Pavlik. And his opponent across the ring with a record of 51 victories, 25 wins by knockout, and five. Washington, D.C. Rose Winky Rose! We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with his counterpunching. Not many have gone the full distance with Kelly Pavlik, and he's facing an opponent tonight who understands those circumstances because he's used to using that eraser. You always worry about a guy that has that big power, and I'm sure Pavlik's people are going to want to make sure they don't look for their power. They're going to look to box and defuse the other guy's bomb. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. Solid straight right hand. Right, left. Working well that time. Come on. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Able to show you his blocking ability. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. We count down the final moments of this round. Nice block by Winky Wright. Kelly Pavlik's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And that does it for this round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Right cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Fight this guy. You understand what I'm saying? Take it to this guy. You have to go and get this man. Now listen to me. Your best defense is to throw. Here we go. Round two is underway. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good combination to the head. Wright's hit by a counter punch there. Just like that, just like that. Fires right back at him. Big 
Big shot, the left hand from Winky Wright. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Kelly Pavlik. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Kelly Pavlik. Halfway through round number two. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Good combination to the body. Take yourself. And he returns on that exchange. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Let's see some more head movement, champ. Come on. Good block. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Winky Wright's going to really regret when he hears the scorecards read because he lost that last round just based on defensive laziness. Well, you can always make comparisons, analogies. You watch a basketball game, you say, you know what, this team, Joe, is losing because they're not rebounding. They're not boxing out underneath the boards. Well, guess what? They weren't taught how to do that. You have to know how to do that. He's not going to start showing you defense if he doesn't know how. He does not know how. He has not been taught. but gives one. Good work by Kelly Pavlik. Yeah, baby. Good work. Good work. Wright's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. You see him holding on. Nice. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on, now. Teddy, how would you label Kelly Pavlik? I would label him a guy that is from his town, a blue-collar, no-frills type guy, a guy that goes about his business in a very dependable, very reliable way. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Scores with the combo to the head. Kelly Pavlik's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good block by Winky. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. He's tied. He's tied. He's tied. He's tied. He's tied. He's Last tied. 10 oh, seconds. Just like that. Just like that. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. Pavlik's up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. There's a straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Deep breathe. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep it up. Good right hand.
90 seconds to go in round number four. Covers up nicely, nice gets work. rid of his nice opponent's work. body shot. Keep moving. Keep moving. And he just holds on there. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Havlick's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Wright's quickly approaching the point of no return right now, Teddy. You know, it would be far-fetched to see his corner step up on the apron and stop this fight. So not only far-fetched, I mean, I think it's starting to get to that point where it's their responsibility to be thinking about that. Back to the body! Havlick swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Three minutes gone by in this round. Look at that swollen eye. Wright's eye is basically shut. Well, right now, he's got to concentrate harder than he has before, maybe than he ever has before. And he's got to make sure that he sees everything coming at him somehow, finds a way, even looking through that little slit. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Havlick's fighting real smart here on the outside. Keep working him, bud. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Little head-hunting with the left. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Hooks to the head. a punch with that left hand. Still not moving enough. Come on. And now. he's holding. Move. And that's the end of round five. We hear about guys being calm and cool when the pressure's on. With that eye completely shut, the pressure is on. Yeah, this is where you're really ultimately being tested as a fighter, as a human being, as a man. Dudes in this fight, you gotta pick it up, you hear me? You gotta pick it up. Come on now, you gotta pick up the speed, all right? You gotta pick up the pace, pick up the speed. lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Kelly Pavlik's got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little more. Yeah, you'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective. Not just great where they look good. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good.
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Digging in with uppercuts. Move! And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. And round six comes to an end. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut, the kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them, he's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. Not able to land the headshot. Yeah! Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Winky Wright's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Wright's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often... You will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to That's the okay. target, That's which right. they're doing right now. They're getting Go down to him. They're getting through to him. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. And now he's targeting upstairs. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Jab. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. <laughs> Jump on him. That's nice. it. He just missed that shot Please up top. Please. That's a huge left he just scored with. Come on now. And round seven comes to an end. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. God, just, just keep doing what you're doing. Nice work. Keep it up. I never felt the beat. The scorecard, according to our Teddy Atlas, sitting here ringside as we start round number eight. Right slim hope may be fading away. It's not just that he trails on your scorecard, Teddy, but look at his face. He's been damaged. Yeah, and right now, as the referee, the doctor, you got to be thinking, and as the corner, too. You have to be thinking about doing a passionate thing now, the right thing. Maybe stopping this fight. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. And he ties up on the inside. What impact from that uppercut by Kelly Pavlik. Pavlik's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. too many punches. Hands up, hands up. He missed with that headshot. 
And it's over. Look at this. Right thigh is far too damaged. The referee steps in and stops this fight.